Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you my highlight analysis of Millwall versus Northampton. Now, before we start off, I do apologise for this video not going up earlier on my channel. The reason for this is I've been very busy lately, and I haven't had time to actually create this video. Now, finally, that I've had the time to sit down, look at the highlights, and now I have created this video for you. Now let's start talking about what happened in the first half. Now there wasn't so much in the first half in terms of action wise, but there was a little bit. In the first half, Millwall had most of the chances. And I have three chances that Millwall had here that I'm going to quickly be talking about. Now the first one's where Lee Martin played the ball to Aiden O'Brien. And Aiden O'Brien had a great shot, but unfortunately it hit the post. Now the next opportunity was where their goalkeeper Clark made two fantastic saves to deny Steve Morrison and then the last opportunity was where Steve Morrison had a great shot and yet again Clark had a great save now what happened in the second half well let's get into that right now we move into the second half now Clark made another great save this time to deny Steve Morrison's fantastic header now unfortunately for Steve Morrison he didn't score that goal that he really needed to score now, Morrison definitely deserved to score a goal in that game, and he's very unfortunate not to have got at least one goal. Now, he did provide the assist for the first goal that Millwall scored, and what he did there was he played an over-the-top through ball to Aiden O'Brien, who got it on the edge of the area. He then did a few skills, cut inside, and beat the defender and rifled the ball into the back of the net. Now, we were winning 1-0. Now, the only bad thing to say from this is... It was in the 71st minute, and we should have scored a long time before that. And it's kind of a bit embarrassing, because we're playing Northampton Town. Now, they're a team from League 2. We should be doing a lot better. However, we didn't, but we can just move on for that. And hopefully, that isn't a problem, but we definitely should have scored a lot earlier in that game. Definitely in the first half, because if you're not scoring against teams in League 2, then you should be thinking about there could be a problem there, because... We're in League 1. We need to score against teams in League 1. If we can't do it against League 2 teams till the 70th minute, then sometimes you might need to work a bit harder in training on scoring and fast. Now, the second goal that we scored was now from Lee Gregory. Now, the assist was from Steve Morrison. What happened here was he had the ball on the edge of the area. He crossed it in. Then Lee Gregory either ricocheted off of him or he tapped it into the back of the net. But either way, he did score the goal. And all I can say is I'm happy for him because he was on a goal drought and he definitely deserved to get that goal because he has been trying. And when you're in a goal drought, it isn't easy for a striker and you'll take anything that happens. And of course, he got that goal and hopefully he can fight back and score some more goals for Millwall this season because he got 10 last season. And he needs to get around about 15 this season, I'd say, because we've dropped down a league. So he may need to get five more goals. And then we say that he's definitely been a solid investment in the club. Now Northampton did come really close with a great shot from Diouf. But unfortunately for them, it hit the crossbar. And if I was a Northampton fan, I would be fuming at that point. Now Archer did have to make a save towards the end of the game. And it was a great save from a header from Calvert-Lewin. And unfortunately, that was as good as it got for Northampton in the second half. Now, Millwall, we did go through to the quarterfinals of the Johnson's Paint Trophy. And all I can say is that's brilliant. But I can't make any predictions because last time I made a prediction, it was completely wrong. As I don't know nothing about the Johnson's Paint Trophy, so I'm going to leave it there. Now, the key players for each side. For Millwall, it's Steve Morrison because he provided them two goals and he should have scored a goal himself. He was very unlucky not to. He was definitely the best player we had on that pitch at the time. And hopefully he can score some goals in the league. Because I do love singing his song. Now with Northampton, their goalkeeper Clark definitely was their best player. He made a lot of fantastic saves. If it weren't for him, we would have scored a lot more goals. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.